channel big please do not forget to like comment and subscribe to this channel also do not forget to turn on your post notifications so that you can be notified every single time i post you want to be notified so that you can be a part of the ray fam aka the littest fam in the youtube land and that is just mm, okay please do not also forget to follow me on my social media my instagram and my twitter will be linked down below in the description box for your conveniences because a bad bitch always needs money do not forget to also while you're down there in the description box follow me on my switch as well as join the ray fam discord would love to see you there boo so let's get into what today's video is going to be. Today we're going to be watching episode 12 of season 1 of The Vampire Diaries. Duh. Um, so yeah, you all y'all already know what's good, what's up with me. And uh yeah, let's let's go ahead and get right on into the episode. It's gonna be twenty-two dollars. Elena, I need the money. Uh, here, come in. Just put it on the table. See, why do we just keep inviting? Well, Jeremy doesn't know, but why do we just keep inviting people into our homes? Like, uh, once you give out the invitation, I don't know if anybody answered this, but once you give out the invitation, can you be like, I don't want you in my house, and then they gotta leave? Or, like, you give out the invitation and then they can forever come and go as they please. Somebody might have already answered this for me, but I'm forgetful. And I feel like there should be another way around it. You should be able to be like, I take back the invitation, get the fuck out. And they gotta go. So pretty. Thank you. Kind of go with, like, everything. What's the occasion? No occasion, just a little friend gift. Lesbian friend necklace. It's just sticky like that. Your friendship is important to me. Why are you being so mushy? Because you've been avoiding me. And I wanted you to know that whatever's going on with your mat, it's okay. So, y'all, I made a comment in not this one, maybe episode 10, about how I feel like, you know, Elena and Matt be flirting and like Matt be looking at her like he's so in love. And I do stand by that. Like, I feel like, or maybe Elena just has flirty eyes, but I do feel like, you know, when they're together, they be having, it's like a playful flirt, but it's not a, it's not a, oh my God, I love you and I want you back type of thing. It's just like a, a playful, like, well, like we known each other for so long, so we flirt kind of thing. Did not mean by any, like, by any, um, what's the word I'm looking for? I don't know the word, but I didn't mean like, oh, like they want to get back together type of thing. I just meant that they flirt with each other and it's cute. Matt's not over you and we all know it. I'm with Stefan now. Matt understands that. He knows he has to move on. Does he though? Like, did you ever specifically say like, hey, Matt, move on? Or like, does he think he still has a chance? Like... Mm. I can't believe you're adopted. I never saw that coming. And it gets weirder. I looked at my birth certificate. It lists Miranda and Grace and Gilbert as my birth parents. None of it makes any sense. Which is why you should ask Jenna. First of all, the Elena I know would always want the real truth, good or bad. And second of all, you just found out your boyfriend is a vampire. So unless your birth parents are aliens, how bad could it be? Uh, okay, look, I have to go to the store. My outfit for the dance is severely lacking accessories. I mean, I'll pay the bill. Okay, bye. Bye. I would have been talking to Jenna and asking questions because, bitch, we not just about to slide past the fact that I'm adopted and just not talk about it in the house. We need to talk because, bitch, huh? I'm adopted and nobody was going to tell me that shit. Y'all was just going to leave that shit to yourselves. It's fucked up. Everything okay over here? Yeah, we're fine. 
talking to you. Bay could have killed him if he really wanted to, right there, right on spot. He just walked away to let him have that win, okay? Thank you. Anytime, Bonnie. He didn't want to cause a scene. Why me? What does he want with me? And, and if he's trying to kill me, then why call first? It's because we're predators, Elena. We hunt, we stalk. It's often as exciting as a kill. I want you to take this. At this point, if I'm Elena, I'm trying to find the next way out of town. So what are you wearing to this dumb dance anyway? Should we color coordinate? Um, I'm not going. Why not? Gotta work. Bust some tables at the grill. Since when are you a bus boy? It's a job. You know, some of us have to work, Caroline. But with my mom in and out, things are tight, so. Well, I didn't mean it like that. I just meant that I didn't know you had a job. Well, he got offended mad fast. Is this one of them, like, oh, are they slow burn where, like, it takes so long for him to realize? his feelings for her after she didn't already realize her feelings for him and then we just got this long dramatic drawn out relationship i hope not i hate a slow burn hey um do you want to do something later maybe i'm oh, sorry i'm stuck on punch duty at the school dance <laughs> how'd you get stuck with that oh i'm failing english so i copped a plea so maybe you know, tomorrow or something. I'm being pushy again, aren't I? <laughs> well, thanks for the help. I'll, I'll see you around. Why do we keep dubbing her, though? It's like, she's cute. And I understand that, you know, everything just happened with, what's her name? Vicky. Everything did just happen with Vicky, but like it seemed like she she would genuinely take being friends with him and Jeremy is like not having it at all. You know, I could help you. You? Help me? Uh, I don't know. It seems a little unnatural. I'll do anything to get you out of this town. Even release Catherine. What about the other 26 vampires? No, no, no. They can't come. They have to stay put. But Catherine, I would consider that. What are you doing? Hmm? What's your angle? Think about it. <laughs> Why would I trust you? See, that's your problem, Damon. You apply all of your shortcomings to everybody else. If history's any indication, there's only one liar among us. So Stefan wants to help him so that he'll leave town with Catherine and leave him with Elena. But at the same time, they don't seriously think that they're just going to be able to release Catherine and not the 26 other vampires. Like, they didn't think... Okay. No, for sure. Get in. It's a late night. I'm leaving town, bro. I'm telling you, I would have got the fuck. No. He neglected to mention this was a pool party. What are you doing here? Well, seeing as you also neglected to invite me, I took matters into my own hands. You're doing that thing again. What thing would that be? The thing where you pretend we're dating, even though we're not. Oh, you mean stalking? Yeah. <laughs> Get over yourself. Come on, I've never been to a school dance before. Humor me. <laughs> What's wrong with dating? Get out there, Jeremy. You know, Vicky damn sure ain't coming back. So, I mean, hey, live your bestest life. Hi. Twice in one day. 
Lucky me. I'm proving something to my friend. Oh, yeah? What's that? That you don't have to sit around and wait for a guy to come up to you. Does that mean that you're asking me out on a date? Does that mean you want me to? Oh, what did you have in mind? Do you like karaoke? No. But I would really like to go on a date with you. <laughs> I fucking love this for Bonnie. She deserves. Oh, um, yeah, before I forget, can I borrow your ancestor's journal? Why? Who said I could read it? Uh, I don't have it. Oh, well, obviously, I mean, you didn't bring it here, uh, but I can walk you home. No, I mean, I gave it to my history teacher. Wait, wh why did you give it to him? Because he wanted to read it. No, you shouldn't be giving that to just anybody. But I should give it to you? Loan. Loan it to me. Oh, well, I loaned it to Mr. Saltzman. Maybe it's in his classroom. We can get it back. What's the big deal with the stupid journal? You're right. How the fuck do the vampires keep finding these people? I mean, really, on like, what is it with this family? The vampires are just like attracted to them or some shit? Like, what are you doing here? I'm trying to get the journal and sticking to the plan something you're not doing. Leave the girl alone. I like her. She looks like Catherine. She's not Catherine. Okay, Catherine is in the tomb. I know, but until we open that tomb, I got her to play with. Don't be stupid. That girl is with the Salvatore brothers. They don't scare me. They never have. Chris, Laura, don't do this. You're gonna ruin everything. You got nothing to worry about. I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. You will get what you came for. Just let me have my fun. She looks like Catherine. Catherine was getting around, wasn't she? God damn. Uh, first of all, for a secondary lane, said, I'm tired of this shit. I'm killing anybody who want to fuck with me, and that's just what it's going to be and how it's going to have to end. Hey, dickhead. Nobody wants to kill you. We just want to talk. And now you had to die because you ain't want to talk. Now you feel like talking? Screw you. <laughs> Wrong answer. Why are you doing this? Because it's fun. <laughs> what do you want with Elena? She looks like Catherine. You knew Catherine? Oh, he saw you were the only ones. <clears throat> You don't even remember me. <laughs> Tell me how to get in the tomb. Hmm? No. The grimoire. Where is it? Check the journal. The journal. Here's Jonathan's journal. Jonathan Gilbert's. <laughs> Who else is working with you? Who else is there? No. You're gonna have to kill me.
would really hate to have to go like that. That seemed like a really fucking painful death, and I'm just like, e. Look, I said something stupid. You did. I'm sorry, but I wasn't even talking about you. Yeah, but you were talking about somebody like him. So it's the same thing. Yes, you were, Caroline. Ben could easily be me. We're just alike. That's not true. But are you seriously mad about this? Look, Matt, you know me. Okay, I say stupid things without thinking. And then I have to apologize and take it back. And I'm a terrible, awful person, but I'm working on well, can it. Can we just not do this right now? Okay. When do you get off? Look, this thing you've got, it's nice and it feels really good. And I know you want to take the next step. How do you know that? Have you even asked me? I'm, I'm not over Elena. I don't, I mean, I don't know if I am, but if we go there, then it could mess things up and we might lose this. And this is the only good thing I've got going for me right now. So if it doesn't work, I'll just disappoint you and hurt you. And I don't want to do that. Which is a very mature thing to do. To know that you have feelings for somebody else and be like, look, I can't offer you all of me right at this very moment because all of me is not here to offer however i do like our friendship and i would like to continue to be friends and i don't want to lose that because we are trying to be in a relationship you know which i mean that's very mature of him to know his feelings and emotions for elena and be able to really know what like what he can emotionally take on right now and what he can well big problem matt because you took the next step all by yourself and you played the whole thing out in your head and you decided to bail before even giving it a shot so this really great thing that we have don't worry about losing it because it's already gone i feel like she really could have like tried harder to understand where he was coming from because it made perfect sense to me but you know caroline will be caroline so needed that <laughs> well thank you for for coming i i really appreciate it you made the evening much more well you made it period i'm glad i could help and thank you for putting up with all that wife talk i, I gotta stop doing that it doesn't bode well for dating is that what this was a date no definitely not a date but friday you me and dinner and a movie that could be a date. How about it? Works for me. <laughs> I, you can talk about your wife all you want. <laughs> it's gonna take time to heal. We should just be ourselves. Still, I think I'll keep the Isabel talk to a minimum. Isabel? Yeah, that was her name. Where was Isabel from? Virginia. I mean, not too, not too far from here, actually. Is, is, is he Elena's dad? <sighs> what is this show? What the fuck, bro? What the fuck? Caroline! Kara, get in the truck. Ooh. Okay, definitely not slow burn. This will never work. Doing okay? Is it weird if I say yes? Is it true? I should feel more upset or scared or something, but I feel kind of exhilarated. It's the adrenaline. You're crashing it up. Yeah, I guess. I fought back tonight. I felt good. I wish you didn't have to fight at all. Still. <sighs> I 
I need to tell you something. And I don't know how you're going to feel about it. What? I told Damon that I'd help him get into that tomb, get Catherine back. But it was a lie. I let him believe that he could trust me. Well, then why would you be worried about telling me? Because he can be very persuasive, and you two have bonded lately. That doesn't mean I trust him. It's going to take a lot more than just a road trip and a rescue for me to forget who Damon is and everything he's done. I don't want to be his enemy, Elena, but I can't let him do it. Then don't. And I'll help you, whatever it takes. Okay? Should have known Stefan was lying. I don't know why I didn't figure that that was what was going on. Hmm. Oh, not Bonnie's guy. Anybody but him. Sneak up on me. You love it. Where's Noah? His obsession got the best of him, and so did the Salvatore brothers. They killed him? Tortured and staked. Well, you're not very upset. I warned him, Ben. He was just gonna screw everything up anyway. Let's be honest, he wasn't exactly an asset. How'd you do? Oh, the witch is totally crushing on me. Did you get the journal? No. But I know where it is. And I'll get it. Oh, my God. You know what? <laughs> Bye. Because I'm tired. Thank you guys for watching episode 12 of the Vampire Diaries with me. I really, really, really appreciate it. Please do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Also, do not forget to turn on your post notifications so that you will be notified when I post them, like I always say. And with that being said, I will still see you guys in the next one. Bye, boos.